Right, so with that said, let's crack on and get into our lesson on geometry. And we are going to start just by looking at angles on a straight line. So we're going to go through, um, hopefully we're going to go through quite quite fast um, through the questions we need to get through so that we can also do um, congruency this evening as well. Okay. So angles on a straight line add up to 180. Um, so for the first one, what do you say? What is x equal to? Pop it in the chat if you've worked it out. As soon as you've worked it out, pop it in the chat. Like I said, we are going to try and go quite fast because this is nothing new. This is stuff that you learned in grade 8 and grade 9. We are just kind of bringing it to the surface again just so that we can use it for our grade 10 geometry. Okay, everyone says X is 63. I agree with that. 72 plus 45 plus 63 needs to give you 180. Okay, next one, question B. What is X equal to? I agree with that. That's 35. And then question C. Thirty plus 90 is 120. We need another 60 for this to add up to 180. Good stuff. Okay, let's go to question E. What is x equal to? Pop it in the chat. So we're going to go 180 minus 60 minus 90. Don't be misled by that 42. It just shows that part of that 90 degree angle is 42. So the crease will be 48. So this is 30. Sorry guys, um, I just I have load shedding, so I'm just checking my computer um, battery quickly. Right, let's go to F. 50 plus 90 minus 90 is 140, and that is 40 as well. Good stuff. Okay. And now let's go to G. I wonder can I kind of don't want to do this one. I want to see if anyone can do G for us. Shiraz, do you want to do G for us? Just raise your hand and unmute yourself. If you're up for the challenge. <laughs> okay, Monica is going to take this one. Hi, Monica. Unmute yourself. Hello, ma'am. Hi there. Hello. Um, I took 3x plus 4x plus x is equal to 180. And mm -hmm. then I added up the x's and it gave me 8x. And then I wrote at x equals to 180. So eight. I divided the 8x and 180 by 8. So One. it gave me 22,5 degrees. Excellent. Well done, yeah. Monica. <laughs> Okay, let's skip ahead. Let's go to I. You can do I for us. Hi, Nishan. 
Tell us how did you do I? Morning, ma'am. Uh, I mean, <laughs> afternoon. Uh, uh, ma'am, what I did was, um, what I did was, since we have X, meaning the value for X is going to be the same, right? So I said 180 minus 40, uh, leaving me with, with 140. Then I divided 140 with two, because we have two X. And then uh, the answer for X was 70. Yes. Okay. Okay, thanks, uh, um, Nishon. Um, so Nish Nishon actually did this one for Hello, us. ma'am. Hi, can you hear me? Ms. Kat, can you still hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Nishan. So X is 70. Who wants to do I for us? A few of you have answers for I, so raise your hand. Yenzi? Um, um, I took the, since there's the 90 degree sign, um, it means that uh, 35 and 35. And then I took that answer, added it up and made it equal to 180. Then after that, I, um, I took the 70 to the other side to minus it by um, 180, which will be 4x equals 180 minus 70. And then that gave me the answer. Okay, so Yenzi, don't get confused by this 35 here. It means the whole angle is 90 and that is 35. So the rest of it must um, add up to 90. So all you're going to do is go 90 minus 55. Minus 55 is 55. So the whole angle is still 90 degrees, like Ms. Kat says. So, but your thinking was right. So what we've got here we can actually just do angles on a straight line and go 90 plus 4x is equal to 180. So 4x is 90 degrees and then x is 22,5. Okay, great. Good stuff. Let's go on to our next round which is vertically opposite angles are equal. So vertically opposite angles, that means they have to share a vertex, okay? So um, we can only apply this rule when we have the angles sharing a vertex like this. Okay, so what is A equal to? Pop it in the chat. A is going to be 45 because those angles are vertically opposite. And then B is going to be 135 because they are vertically opposite. Good. And let's go to question two. What is C going to be equal to? 120, good. And then what is D going to be equal to? 60. And then just kind of notice that all of that together makes 180. And this together makes 180 as well. So it fits perfectly into the puzzle. OK, so here we're going to work um on our reasons a little bit more because in geometry it is super important that you give the right reasons you can't make up your own words you have to um use the specific words for the rule okay so um if we say e here is equal to 40 what would the reason be for e being 40 just pop it in the chat, if you know. A 
Okay. So make sure you jot down the correct reason this evening. And that is the reason that you use. You can abbreviate, that's fine, vert of angles. But those three words must be there, vertically opposite angles or vert of angles, that's fine. Angles must be in your reason. Those three words must be in your reason for you to get your mark, okay? It's um, very strict. Um, as you move up into grade 11 and grade 12 with reasons. Are you going to be in grade 11 next? Yeah, that's unbelievable. Okay, so let's go to if. If we can do two ways, um, what is if equal to? Okay, so if it's 78, give a reason. Pop the reason in the chat if you know. Okay, so many of you have used vertically opposite angles, but we could also use good op angles, and we can also use angles on a straight line. Okay, let's go to the next one. Um, yeah, be careful here. Make sure that you apply the right um, reason. We can use uh, angles on a straight line because that's a straight line. So 62 E and F all are on a straight line. You can use angles around a point, yeah. Okay, first I want to know what is the value of M and what is the reason that you used for it? Some of you are saying already, um, but I wanna know what is the value of M? M is 60, nice, Akunele. M is 60, angles on a straight line. So then N is going to be, N is also 60, and what is our reason there? You can do, again, angles on a straight line going like that, or you can do vert op. Okay, good. Let's do... These quickly, that's just to revise angles around a point. Yes, Monica. Ma'am, can you quickly please go back up? Okay, quickly. Otherwise, you have to ask again at the end of the lesson for screenshots. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, so angles around a point add up to 360. So what is our x value here? So we go 360 minus 106 minus 149 minus 90, x is 15. Okay, and in the next one, Last question, well, last question for this, not quite the last one. <laughs> we need 175, 109, 47, and that's 29. Okay, great. Okay, so let's quickly run through our parallel lines. So we've done straight lines. Lines that intersect so that we get angles on a straight line, um, uh, so that we get vertically opposite and angles around a point. And these are our parallel lines, the angles that form when we have parallel lines and a transversal that cuts through it. 
remember a transversal is this line here that cuts through the parallel lines. And we can only use parallel lines rules when we have parallel li lines and um, we can't use it just for uh, in other situations. We need to make sure that we have parallel lines first before we use it. Okay, so let's have a look. We've got three sets of angles when we work with parallel lines, corresponding angles. So corresponding angles are on the same side of the transversal and on the same side of the parallel lines. Okay, and just put a thumbs up in the chat if you know corresponding angles and if you are happy with them. And if you don't know them, then you must ask a question. We are gonna do a bunch of questions now, um, but in the meantime, okay. So that's corresponding. And then let's just go to the next one, which is the alternate angles. Oh my word, Shiraz, this is a happy day. Please throw some emojis our way. You have to prove that you have found your emojis. I don't believe you. Yes, Bonkle, they do. The corresponding angles make the F. That's right. Wait. Oh gosh, there it is. Proof, Shiraz can throw an emoji our way. Thank you. <laughs> it is a happy day. <laughs> Yes, Chinamiram, that's right. Sure, you guys know your stuff. So this is alternate angles, which is the Z shape. And remember, we can make it in two directions, in that way or in the other way. So alternate angles, corresponding angles are equal. And then the, uh, the co-interior angles add up to 180 degrees. So D and F or co-interior and so are C and D. So Chinamiram talks about fun. So fun is for if, for the corresponding, U for the co-interior and then N for the alternate angles. Okay. Right, let's do some questions and we're going to skip through that. And I think we're going to go right here. And when you give your answer in the chat, make sure that you also give your reason. Okay, so we've got two sets. Uh, we've got um, AB parallel to CD and we are looking for X, S, Y, R and P. Let's start with X. Pop your answer in the chat. And remember, even if your answer is there already, do it anyway because you have to participate. This is not an episode of Friends. <laughs> Mm. So far, no one's getting a, a mark correctly for this. No one. Ah, oh, there's Nishan. Nishan is getting his mark. Well done. So, guys, pay attention. When we give our answer, we have to say x is equal to 60. And if you don't put it down this way, then all your trouble was for nothing. Alt angles you can abbreviate angles using that symbol alt angles and then you have to name you have to say which parallel lines did you use to find that angle a b parallel to c d okay that's how you get your mark right so this is 60 now let's go to y put it in the chat
what is the value of y? Look carefully, we only have these alternate, uh, these parallel lines, eh? Don't make up parallel lines if they're not there. I'm waiting for more answers, guys. We're about 70 strong in this class. Let's see what other people are thinking. Okay. Masood, do you want to um, put your hand up and unmute yourself and tell us how you did it? Masood, are you up for it? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, then I'll just um I'll explain your answer. Who's speaking? Is it Masood? Oh no, ma'am, it's Shiraz, ma'am. It's who? Shiraz, ma'am. Oh, hi Shiraz. <laughs> no ma'am. I should found the mute button, ma'am. <laughs> ma the question if you want. Mas um, uh, Jiraz, how long have you been here? Ma'am. How many months? <laughs> you know what? Better late than never. Okay. Oh, I'm glad you found the unmute button. <laughs> Are you going to tell us how to do why? Yeah, ma'am. So you see, ma'am, A, B, and C, D are three parallel lines. So, yes. Yeah. And thing EF is going through that, and um, yeah, and one eighty minus one six. Okay, well, E, well, E, yeah, E and Y is going to equal one eighty. Yes. Yes. And then, then you minus a one eighty minus one six, and Y is going to equal twenty, and then P is virtually opposite. Okay, just why? Just why? Let's give someone else a chance. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Thanks, Shiraz. You all missed that one. Oh, I don't know. I saw some weird answers there, Miss Kat. Hey, where did those answers come from? I have. I think some got the answers, but the reasons were also a bit too. Um, I'm going to go with Claw Claw as well, because you could have done it that way. So R, we're going to do R at the same time now because R is 160. But if you did it that way, you cheated a little bit because you mean to, maybe it's not cheating. Maybe that was actually the right, I don't know. But anyway, so R is 160 because it's corresponding and then you can do angles on a straight line. So Claw Claw, that was fine too. Let me see what else people made up here. <laughs> so Loveland says 20 because of corresponding angles. 
I'm trying to see it, but I don't see it so much. I don't either. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. <clears throat> so that's going to give us P, that's 20 degrees as well. And then we just have S left, which is 30, because this one is 90. What else are people saying in the chat? <laughs> okay. Oh, so Loveland says they also mean to say co-interior. Okay, let's go through this step by step because this is very much a grade 10 type question. Um, so Y is going to be 20. And the reason for that is co-interior angles because AB is parallel to CD. Then we can do R, or you could have done two ways. You can do it with the corresponding or with the angles on the straight line. Um, let's go 160 because of angles on the straight line. And then we can do P, which was vertically opposite. Or you can do angles on a straight line as well for P. Um, no, P is 20. Angles on a straight line. Or vertically opposite. And then S is the T. Um, and that you can do, uh, uh, how does that go? Adjacent complementary, adjacent complementary. Okay. And again, guys, they're very strict in the um, FET with these reasons. So these are the words that you must use. Okay. There are no other words. These are your words. It's like the words of a song or a words the words of a poem, it doesn't change because you don't know how to sing the words. Okay, it has to come out the right way. Um, okay, so that was that. <laughs> um, what's the time? Okay, let's move on to triangles. Um, so angles of a triangle, we've got our three rules here for triangles, and that's um, <clears throat> uh, A plus B plus C is 180, so angles in a triangle, so you can use angle sum of a triangle, or you can use um, uh, no, that's it, angles in a triangle. Okay, then for this one, this is our isosceles triangle. And because the sides are equal, the angles across or opposite from the sides will also be equal. And the reason here is not isosceles triangle. We don't use that. What is the proper reason to use here? Who knows? Put, put it in the chat if you know. If you're using, if there's an isosceles triangle, nice, lovely. And angles opposite equal sides. Angles opposite equal sides. Well done, everybody. You know your stuff. And then the last one is the exterior angle. So A plus B is equal to C. So an exterior angle forms when we extend one of the triangle sides. And then it's always equal to the opposite, uh, the sum of the opposite interior angles. And the reason you use there is exterior angle of triangle. Okay, let's go quickly through these. What is B equal to? Pop it in the chat. Are we stumped? <laughs> Here we go. 
So all the angles must add up to 180. So B is going to be 53 degrees and it's angle sum of triangle. Okay, and then let's do this one. And remember to put your right reason here. What will D be equal to? D won't be 55. Some of your mental maths is failing you. <laughs> Are we all doing the same sum? I hope so. Okay, so first we'd say that this angle was equal to 55 because angles opposite equal sides. And then we use interior angles of a triangle. 55 and 55 is 110. So we are short 70 to make 180. So angle sum of triangle. Okay, and then this one, what is E going to be equal to? And also give your reason. Zama says it's 62. I think Zama is spot on. Sixty-two, and it's the exterior angle of a triangle. Okay, right, I'm gonna jump ahead so that we do this. We're gonna do one or two of these. Um, we want to solve for X, so what do you think, how are we gonna do this? Solve for X. Any ideas? Put it in the chat or raise your hand. Hi, Zama. Hi, ma'am. Hello. So, um, I think we're going to say 5x minus 40 plus yeah. 3x plus 20 equals to 180. The reason being um, angles are in a point. And okay. then we're going to... Okay, let's look at the two angles. Let's look at the two angles first. What can we say about them? They are vertically opposite. They're vertically opposite. So let's use that to make the equation. So if they're vertically opposite, what do we know about them? They are both equal to the same angle. They're going to be equal. So we can make the equation saying 5x minus 40 is 3x plus 20. Yeah, so a few people said in the chat. So that's what we're going to do, Zama. And we have to give a reason. Vertically opposite angles. And now we are going to solve this equation by taking x's to one side, numbers to the other. So I'm going to go minus 3x on both sides. That gives me 2x. And I'm going to add the 40 on both sides. That gives me 60 and then x is the t. Okay, good try, well done Zama. Um, let's do this one. What is our equation for this going to be to solve for x? Yes, Monica. Did Monica disappear? Bon Claire? Hi, ma'am. Hello. Ma'am, since it's co interior, um, can yes. we not like um, take the 3x minus 10 plus 2x plus 5 and then solve? Well, it must equal to uh, what's this? 180. 
180, that's right. Yes, ma'am. Well done. Why do we say that? What is our reason? Ma'am, it's co-interior. The co-interior. Okay. Yes, right, guys, so you see how it works. You find the relationship between the angles and you take what you then know and you make your equation doing that. So 5x minus 5 is equal to 180. And then 5x is 185. And then x is 185 divided by 5. That's pretty. I get 37. How come you guys get 35? I get 37. Yes. Check your answer, guys. It's um, definitely 37. Okay. Last bit of revision. So uh, no matter what, if it's alternate, you make them equal. If it's inside a triangle, you'll add them up and make them equal to 180. Um, but that's, you just basically need to make an equation. That's the crux of it. Okay, last little bit of revision for this evening is congruency. So with congruency, who can tell me what does it mean when triangles or any shape, um, it's not just triangles that can be congruent, other shapes can be congruent as well. But what does it mean when they are congruent? Zama, are you gonna give it another go? <laughs> yes, ma'am, I wanna try. Yes, go for it. So <laughs> when any um, shape is congruent, they have the same properties as the other shape. Okay, I know which property specifically. Angles and sides. Angles are the same, sides are the same. They're the same shape and the same size. Well done. Okay, so for congruency, we've got these uh, four conditions. I wonder if you guys can remember them from grade nine. Yes, well done. Everyone posting in the chat. You are right, it, the two shapes are exactly the same in every way. Um, Monete, be careful not to confuse congruency and similarity. Similarity means exactly that they are similar, they're kind of the same. They've got the same size angles, if they are triangles, but they are not identical. Like when they are congruent, they are identical. They're like, um, not even not even identical twins are as identical as congruent triangles. <laughs> okay, so the first way that we can prove it, and you're welcome to take a screenshot of this little note to remind yourself. So if the three sides are equal, side, 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 and also remember that we use this Miss, Miss Kat, there's someone who's unmuted themselves. Thanks. Please, guys, um, it really causes a disturbance when you unmute yourself. Um, then side, angle, side. So it's two sides and the angle between them. Side, angle, angle, or angle, angle, side. Um, so you've got one side and two angles. And then uh, right angle, hypotenuse side uh, is the fourth one. Okay, so that you all learned in grade nine. So let's quickly revise how to prove congruency because we are going to need congruency for when we work with the quadrilaterals. So that's why we are spending time revising it because it hasn't gone away, okay? It is still there and we are gonna use it for quadrilaterals. Okay, so we've got ABCD as a kite in which AB is equal to AD and BC is equal to CD. We have to prove, first of all, that ABC, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC. Okay, so that's fine, Bonkley, <laughs> no problem. 
sorry, I get edgy about the unmuting and the muting, <laughs> but um, it's, it's all good. Okay, so we're going to start off and remember how to do it in a triangle ABC and triangle ADC. Um, first thing we're going to say is that AB is equal to AD. And the reason there is that it's given. And then we're going to say the other thing that was given that BC is equal to CD. Yes, yeah, that's exactly what the line strokes mean, um, that they are equal. Okay, and what is our third statement going to be? AC is common. Well done, Kinsani. AC is common. Common means shared. So these two triangles share a side, so that side must be equal. So what have we got? We've got a side, a side, and another side. Yes, yeah, you can say it like that as well, or you can just say AC is common. And therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC. And the reason for our congruency is because we have three sides that are the same. And that is one of the four um, legit reasons for congruency. Okay, give a thumbs up in the chat if this is coming back to you and if you're good with congruency. This one was fairly easy because two sides were given and we didn't go have to go search for sides and angles. Okay, good stuff. Now the second question is why is B, angle B, at equal to angle D? Why is angle B equal to angle D? Put it in the chat if you know. Yes, Orikunisa, I haven't heard from you today. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Hi, ma'am. Hi. Hi, ma'am. Hi. Uh, what I think it is because uh, uh, I think it's because uh, th there is going to be a diagonal which is going to be bisect BD, so which means the angles will be the same. Okay. Um, let's think again. What did we just do? We proved congruency. So wouldn't that maybe have something to do with it? Would B equal D because of, of congruency? Let's think again. Okay, so Munete Kinsani, yes, what do you think? Ma'am, hi. Hi. <laughs> um, I think B equals to D because we proved that um, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC. And the reason is proven. Um, the reason, you're right, you're absolutely right. They're equal because of the congruent triangles. And that's your reason. OK, so we're going to say triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC. That's our reason why the two angles are equal. Guys, let's get our words right. So these angles are not complementary. Complementary angles add up to 90 degrees. So um, we're not going to use that here. Um, opposite sides of a kite are equal. Ooh, we need to go learn our properties. So we don't need to use that here either, um, Tomelo. But good try. Well done, guys. Good try for all of you. Like I said. Yes, for not giving reasons. It's very, very 
Okay, Chinamiram, this is not an isosceles triangle. I love these questions, guys, because we really need to clear up all this confusion. So this is not isosceles because look, the two sides of the triangle, so there is purple and purple and red and red. So even though the two um, triangles have sides that are equal, within one triangle, they don't have that. Okay, so that would make it isosceles. Okay. Anything else that we need to clear up? Keep asking, guys. This is super important stuff. Yes, uh, Sia was there, and then they disappeared. Okay, Sia, you back? Let's hear. Um, hello, ma'am. Hi there. Um, ma'am, I wanted to ask if the... Um... The statement at the beginning, the in triangle ABC and triangle ADC, is that necessary? Do we get marks for that? You don't get marks, but it's very important to set your work out correctly when you do geometry. So it's just part of like good habits to do that. And also sometimes in a sketch, there are many triangles. So to specify which ones you are using is also really good because it's kind of makes it clear in your head as well. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Okay. And then Unati. Um, hi, ma'am. Hi. Um, ma'am, I wanted to ask that, what if you say that um, B is equal to D because opposite angles of a kite are equal? And that opposite would be your reason. Opposite angles, angles of a kite are equal. The opposite angles of a kite um, are equal. Yes, you can use that. That's fine. Oh, oh yes, well, thank you. Yeah, it did state up front. It's important that it's stated up front. Yeah. Okay, right, guys. We have run out of time and we still need to do a poll, but thank you for all your questions. And I'm going to put up a question here that you can take a screenshot of. Um, uh, maybe give it a go and then we'll go through it on Thursday. And in the meantime, there's a poll that Ms. Kat's running as well. Over to you, Ms. Kat. Hi, everyone. Um, before you leave, please tell us how you felt the pace of the lesson was so that we know how everything's going. And then after that, don't forget to take the screenshot of the question on the screen and try it, and then you may go. So we're done for today. Please, please, please answer the poll. It's very important. Thank you, and bye. And thanks for having me again. <laughs> bye, ma'am. Uh, bye, guys. Bye, Monica. I'm just quickly going to comment on what uh, Ruchilo said about, but we aren't doing quads. Quads you learned in grade nine, you learned about the properties of quadrilaterals in grade nine, so you can still use it. You can use any geometry you've learned. So we must we must be careful not to put things in boxes. Okay. Yes, Monica. 